and a big warm welcome to my channel. If you are new here, it is great to have you here. If you're a returning viewer, I always love having you here, you know I do. So my name is Claire and like I say, welcome to my channel. Today I am really excited because this video is a little bit of what we always do but also a little bit different because in today's vlog I am giving you the chance to win a Kasori air fryer. So this vlog is kindly sponsored by Kasori and they have given me an air fryer to give to one of you guys. So if you would like the opportunity to win this air fryer for yourself, then please do watch on throughout the vlog and you'll find out how you can do that. So while we are looking at this air fryer, I thought we could speak a little bit about why I love my air fryer. So as some of you will know, if you've watched my channel for a while or if you have only just started but you didn't get right back to the beginning, I use a Kasori air fryer exactly the same as this one. I use it all the time and I absolutely love it. This week I've had a couple of conversations with different people who have said to me, I still haven't got on to trying an air fryer yet. Is it worth having one? Now my answer to that is like, absolutely. I literally use my air fryer every single day. I very rarely have my oven on nowadays. So what do I use my air fryer for? I use it literally every day for cooking. So if I am doing salmon and stir fry, I tend to pop my salmon in the air fryer and then just do my stir fry on the hob. It comes out with a lovely crisp skin and it's so fresh and tasty. It is just one of the best ways to cook it. Same if I'm doing a chicken dinner. My chicken will usually go in there. I've done whole chickens in the drawer of the air fryer also. Potatoes, I always do chips, Slim and Wild style chips or regular style chips you can do in your air fryer, but it does use 85% less oil. So you can just use a spray oil or you can put a teaspoon, tablespoon of a regular oil in that drawer and that is all the oil you're gonna need to get crispy fried food, which is all of those lovely things that we love about fried food without the addition of all of that extra fat and oil. So that is amazing. You have got a grill tray in here, which I'm gonna include and show you. So you can also grill things in here. I've made toast in my air fryer and I do also use it to grill my bagels. So that is fabulous. There's also some little kebab skewers, which are fab. I've used these in the air fryer also. Like I literally cook everything. It's also great for cooking with kids dinners. Like if they're having nuggets and chips and you just want to cook for the children really quickly, you can cook that in there in a fraction of the time it would take me of turning on my oven, heating up my oven, and heating up the whole oven for one little tray of food it is so much more economical. Also, because you have the two drawers, you can cook a meal for yourself. So say the days I'm doing, for instance, my salmon stir fry, I can easily have my salmon in one drawer, the kids nuggets and chips or waffles, whatever they're having in the other drawer, pop them in. You can either correspond to the cooking times to synchronize and finish at the same time, or just cook them and go. But it is really easy to cook two separate meals at the same time. So I'll run through some of the other features of this air fryer when I show you further on in the vlog just a few things cooking in there and what I use mine for. But I honestly, I love this air fryer. I couldn't recommend it highly enough. There is a link in the bio. So if you did want to go on to purchase one of those, they usually have some really good offers. They're available on the Amazon store, so it's an Amazon link. And they usually have great offers anyway, so you can tend to get a really good deal on this. And I just love it. Yeah, I've been using Goodness, how long have I had mine for? I've had it for quite a long time. Since we moved in this house, so since January, I've been using it. And like I say, I use it daily. And it is a brilliant air fryer. So the chance to win one of these is fabulous. And I think you'll be super happy with it when you do receive it.
chicken is again going out on the barbecue because it's summer and we love a bit of barbecued meat how nice do those potatoes look in the other drawer i have just popped in some frozen chips for the kids so as you can see you can easily cook two different things on two different time settings <laughs> So some of the fabulous things that you can do in this air fry include air fry. Obviously, this is the main thing that we use. Reheating food, grilling, dehydrate. So you can do your fruit. If you like to have um, banana chips or something like that, you can dehydrate your fruit in here. It's something I've never tried. I haven't used half the features on this and I use it all the time. So um, there's just so much you can do. Roasting, like I said, I've popped a roast chicken in the drawer and I've also done roast potatoes in there, which is fabulous. Baking, bake a cake. I think I've done Weetabix cake. I have done a cake. I can't remember. But baking. So you can make some great cakes. It's also got a shake feature on. So if your food needs shaking, you can set the shake button to sort of set an alarm off after 10 minutes. And then you just come and give your drawer a little shake. And that reminds you to do that. And preheat function as well. So you can also preheat the air fryer so it is hot before you put the food in. Same as you would in an oven. So for doing cakes and stuff, it's going to give you the perfect rise. All of these features, and I've used hardly any of them, yet I use it daily. So whatever you want to use it for, there's going to be something that you're going to want to cook in your air fryer. Tonight in my air fryer, I'm cooking one of the kids' favourite dinners, and it is just such a quick, easy dinner. I cook it at least once a week. It is that easy. So the meatballs, I've just gone in the drawer. They're in the little silicon pot because i'm going to put sauce in here as well so i literally brown them off for about five minutes i then just crumble over an oxo cube before adding a carton of passata i then stir that all in and pop it back in the air fryer for around 10 minutes while my spaghetti is cooking on the hob and that is just a really nice weeknight tea that the boys really really enjoy always like this with spaghetti but you can use any pasta or vegetables but they're just a really nice easy dinner topped with cheese if you want it or not if you don't this evening we're having a barbecue but i am still going to be using my air fryer we have got some chicken legs or thighs i don't know what they are but i am going to be pre-cooking those in the air fryer and i'm also doing jacket potatoes to accompany them so i'm gonna put my jacket potatoes in the microwave i usually do them for about five to eight minutes first and then they go in the air fryer which browns them off just spray my chicken legs with a bit of fry light or low calorie cooking spray. I'm just going to give the chicken legs 15 minutes in the air fryer before they go onto the barbecue just to ensure that they are thoroughly cooked all the way through before we eat them. I obviously need some rinse aid in my dishwasher because look at the state of my drawers after they've been in. Let's just give that a quick wipe over so I don't look so disgraceful. So these have had a little bit of time in the microwave. They are still firm, they're just nice and hot. I'm gonna spray them with my low calorie cooking spray. I picked this one up today in Aldi actually. I can't remember how much it was, but probably cheaper than fry light. Then I'm gonna salt and pepper those and pop them in my air fryer. my chicken is already in there doing its own thing and I'm going to pop my bacon potatoes in the second drawer so always really handy to have another drawer to put things in so I'm going to select the right turn these off I'm air frying it 200 that will do time I'm going to pop them in for 30 minutes and that's it right my chicken has stopped I'm going to go and pop that on the barbecue and my jacket potatoes are looking lush the 
Oh, look at those jacket potatoes. They are just perfect to me. I love nothing more than a jacket potato with a really nice, crispy, crunchy skin and soft and glorious inside. These were awesome. Perfect baking potatoes, even if I do say so myself. A feature of the air fryer that I've only recently started using is to grill. So I've popped my bagels, like you can see, in the rack. They're in for five minutes and I'm just going to grill them. I've got my eggs poaching on the oven and I'm going to cut and chop my avocado up. There you go. Look at them. Perfectly grilled bagels. We all like quick and simple breakfasts, don't we? So I've topped that with my crushed avocado and my poached eggs for, again, another great reason your air fryer fits into your daily cooking routine. Right, straight on to a super quick midweek dinner for after work. I got these salmon sizzlers from Asda and I'm going to grill these in my air fryer. Usually air fryer, I thought I'd try grill for a change. So I set them at 12 minutes and grilled them. Whilst they're in the air fryer, I'm just going to be stir frying some vegetables. I've literally picked up some peppers, baby sweet corn and monge too. So I'm just going to stir fry those for a little while. And I also have a bag of microwavable rice noodles. So they go in the microwave for like two or three minutes, I think. And dishing that up, that was a dinner, midweek dinner, ready in like 15, 20 minutes. Still got some vegetables. So nice, healthy midweek option. Quick and easy. So what have you got to do if you'd like to be in with a chance of winning this Kasora, Kasori dual basket 8.5 litre air fryer? Well, it's pretty simple. So you have just got to like this video, subscribe to my channel and tell me what you would be excited about cooking in this air fryer and what features of the air fryer you love. So I'm going to read through your comments and I will pick one lucky person to win this Kasori air fryer, which I will be sending out to you. What a fabulous prize. If you're not the lucky winner of this competition, obviously, as I said before, I will pop the link below where you can purchase yourself a Kasori air fryer, which once you've seen it in action, I'm sure you would love to do. I think this one is great value for money. And like I say, there's usually offers on that. So use the link below and you'll get a great offer on the price of this. So what are you waiting for? Like the video, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and tell me why you would be excited about getting a Kasori dual basket air fryer. Thanks for watching. Best of luck and I'll catch you in the next one.